I'm recording. So uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, everybody around the world listening to this uh, Google Summer of Code office hour of uh, 4th of August. And Diraj looks tired on the video. <laughs> well, I didn't want to, to, uh, to bother you with that. So welcome everybody. Uh, we have Adrian, Raj, Chris, and Vian uh, around the table here. So I have no special announcement to, uh, to do right now. Uh, so let's go straight into the matter. I think that in India, the new uh, university semester starts, so a lot of people are busy. Uh, work is is going on. So, Dharaj, is your camera is on? You're the first one to give us an idea what's happening, where you are. Do you have any impediments? Yes, thank you. So, what's happening is we just merged our PR uh, this week, uh, which talks about, uh, I mean, which makes it possible to schedule the times we read the update center. So with that in pay place, we would be able to configure it however the way we want the update center to be read once a day, once a month, twice a day, anything. And uh, after that, um, I also, I was also a bit, bit confused this week because I, I did not clear uh, the difference between the terms batch scheduling and batch updates. So then my mentor helped me to understand the difference uh, this uh, of a weekly meeting that happened. So that was a big help because I was looking in the wrong direction uh, to solve an issue. So that was a big help. And after that, today I also reviewed the PR related to probe engine, which has been uh, opened by my mentor, Adrian. So that was very, very helpful to me to see how we have an idea and how do you write a code for it. So, so that, uh, the, and especially the tests that he wrote. So even I, when I read them, it made sense to me how testing is done. So that is also one very important thing that I learned this week. And uh, so for now, I don't have any impediments. And if I share with you, what we will be working next is, uh, I see there's an issue that uh, Adrian has created where we would need to document the probes uh, that we have applied till now on the plugins. Uh, so I would need to get, I would discuss it more with him, but this is something we need to work on. It's like a documentation enhancement kind of issue so that any outsider who does not work with our project can also see what we're working on right now. So it's just like yeah. provide uh, the bigger picture or current status of the project. And, uh, there are a few more, two, three more issues for me. So I will, I cleared the priority on how should I work on them with my mentor in the weekly meeting. So I'll be working on them uh, this week, like tomorrow. There's one in progress and uh, I did re read few things about it. So if I still don't understand how to do that, I will reach out to my mentor, mentors like 13 hours from now, no, not 13. Yes, 13 around hours from now. That's the plan. Okay, that sounds great. There are two important words I remember and noted from uh, your presentation. It's first, you learned a lot of things, which is great, testing in these kind of things, and you're working very well together with your mentor, Adrian. So thank you, Adrian, also uh, for your help. Adrian, no something you would like to help or uh, to, to add or before we move on? No, 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 really. Uh, I uh, appreciate what Diaz and the work he has done and the research he, he, he has done. Uh, so when he has, uh, he's not waiting, he's not asking questions and uh, wait for me to give him the answer. He's looking on his own and that's very, uh, that's a very nice uh, thing to, to see. So right. I, don't, I don't have anything more to say. Uh, Diaz is doing great. Great work, and uh, 
we have very more, good we have uh, even though it might not be on the first uh, uh, the what we had in mind uh, at first uh, we still have many things for the age to to do and uh, things uh, on which we learn a new new things uh, which is really the important uh, part uh, for yeah. for the project really like to to hear that so very good thank you for both for uh, doing all that looking forward to see uh, the next one in the row is uh, Vihan do you hear us are you in a hello. state to answer us go ahead Vihan hello everyone so uh, in the past two weeks um, I spent most of my time researching about ways I can break down the ASCII dog so there's been a lot of trial and error and I've uh, tried some approaches, failed in some, and thought that some are, some are good. And also in the process, found some anomalies in the documentation generator that, that are present. So to start with, I found that a lot of documentation on the pipeline step sentence is, uh, is repeated. So for example, the class kit SCM is present in six different places, and it on itself might carry around a thousand lines of ASCII log. So that is 5,000 lines of redundant data that we don't want. And this is uh, true for every other SCM provider. So there is, uh, I could comfortably say there are uh, uh, more than 100,000 lines of uh, ASCII doc which are repeated in the pipeline self reference. So my goal would be to uh, uh, divert them onto a single new location, a new page, so that I can link uh, that page to every location where, it, uh, where we want to see it. So uh, this is the way I want to abstract that particular piece of documentation. And to do that, uh, that breakdown, the breakdown thing, uh, I've tried some approaches. So the first one was to uh, uh, basically alter the two ASCII doc generation process itself. So from the Java map that we have, we generate the ASCII docs. And in that, in between, uh, the functions where we enumerate the nested choice of objects, I tried to uh, detect the number of parameters nested within, and then try to set a threshold for them so that we can uh, alter the configuration to uh, maybe send them to a new page but that was not very straightforward like i tried a lot uh, tried some algorithms also uh, tried to find the depth of the tree i tried to visualize it like a tree and try to find it depth. but the thing is both the functions are recursively calling each other and it's becoming mm. very hard to keep a track so okay yeah. so mind-blowing <laughs> in the <laughs> negative sense okay so the approach that i think will work now is to add a processing layer to the existing ASCII docs that are generated from the two ASCII docs. So that is to uh, not uh, trouble the two ASCII doc at all. And once we have the list of ASCII docs in that folder, I will create another layer on top of that, which will process them and uh, will result in actually filtering out the part that we want. So basically it, uh, we are now changing our field of study from uh, working with Java objects to basically uh, a string array of the lines of each file. So working with it is, uh, with it is much easy, easier, although it does not make sense because the repetition is still happening in the first go and we're removing it in the processing layer. But I think for now it is the easiest way for me to implement it and it's easier to uh, make changes in the configuration as well if you're just working with strings compared to Java object. So that is something that I have to start working on. This like this looks like a, an interesting puzzle to solve. Or so okay. Thank yes, you for the update, uh, Vian. And um, well, good luck in your exploration. Although I'm I'm convinced that you and your mentor are going to thanks a lot to solve that. <laughs> okay. The next one is Yiming. Hello, Yiming. Do you hear us? Hi. Hi. I can hear you. Great. How are things going? Uh, okay, I like to share my works recently. So, so firstly, I I keep supporting multiple languages demo by making users choose base images in the action parameters. So, there are some issues previously, but I now I fixed because Abel Adaya suggested that uh, previous parameters cannot support the the Alpine image compilation. So I added some uh, new features on it. Now this pull request has been merged yet. So 
so users can use them. And then secondly, uh, I submit the changes in JFR for for new core and the plugins. Uh, this is important. And uh, as I haven't made the thirdly, I haven't made the uh, project plan for the second phase. I also make the project plan accordingly. And uh, finally, uh, I also try to support the runtime type actions for Windows runners uh, based on our weekly meetings. So okay. this, this uh, pull request is under review now. Yeah, that's my work recently. Hey, that sounds really interesting and yeah. uh, a good good thing. And congratulations because you have upstream pull requests being uh, merged. So uh, this is also a, a very good evening. So well done. Oh, thank you. Good. Chris, do you want to add something to uh, Yiming's project or? Um, I think we will need to work on a bit more documentation later, but overall is the progress been good. Uh, that's the impression I, I have too. So well done. Really impressed by the, the good work doing. I see that you're all progressing well and learning uh, well. I hope you're enjoying it also, although it's hard work, but uh, it really looks good and impressive uh, seen from, from my side here. Uh, does somebody want to add something or uh, <laughs> see the message from, from Vian? Okay, great. Uh, he, he just said that uh, he enjoyed uh, uh, doing all this. So uh, if somebody, I, I let the mic open now, if somebody wants to add uh, either a question or a comment or tell us something, uh, he can speak now. So three, two, one. So I wish you then all congratulations. Well done. Looking forward to next week's update and see how, how things are going. So we have a, a nice rest of the day and a nice week, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good Thank day. you. Bye, everyone.